Today is World Mental Health Day. If you're watching this video and maybe you're struggling with football right now or anything to be honest, then I think that you should give this video a watch. In terms of football, I think that mental health has always been a really big challenge, you know, for the athletes. Recently, I have noticed that people have been um, investing more time and energy and resources into um, this topic, right? But before, it used to be a stigma of, oh, that's just for wimps, that's just for weak people, right? But I think that a big part of football in general is that it's a sport of it's a really challenging sport that can be cruel sometimes and just like there are winners there are always going to be losers for each game for each team for each league for each club um, as you get higher into uh, academies what I've noticed is that normally these teams are built around one or two players right and the rest are fillers that are there to help aid the development of those two, three players. And it's tough being those filler players. And if you're those two, three players, then obviously there's still going to be tons of pressure on you to perform well, to really develop at a high pace so that one day you can go up, rise through the ranks and join the senior team and hopefully there you can succeed maybe they can sell you for a profit right but for the rest of the players it's always a challenge finding a team that's right for your development but also a team that can you know where you can stand out right and you can really shine and bring your game to the next level and with mental health i think that it's always a big part of football. Um, football is also a lot about sacrifices, I, I believe, in my opinion. Um, the more sacrifice you put into football, the more you're going to get out of it, right? Even though someone may have more talent than you, at the end of the day, if you work harder, then I believe you're at such a big advantage over that player. But this requires so much sacrifice. And me personally, I've had to sacrifice basically my entire life for this sport, right? And I'm still chasing the dream. I've had to sacrifice friendships, relationships, um, comfortable life at home, uh, school, right? Experiences, memories that would be very typical for kids my age from where I'm from. Experiences, you know, fun experiences that other kids would usually get to enjoy but yeah this is just part of, a part of the journey and um, if you made it this far I know that you're also very interested in football and you are also very interested in going pro and if you made it this far honestly then I think this is the right journey for you even though it may take a lot, right? A lot of mental strain, toll, a lot of hard work, blood, sweat, tears. But I think it's worth it, right? The um, amount of people I've been able to meet over the years, the new experiences that I would, I would, I would have never thought that I would ever, ever experience. I've lived in multiple countries now, still, um, have a burning passion for the sport. And even though, you know, you can compare yourself to other people, their players, at the end of the day, everyone has a different course in life. And that's just what I wanted to say to everyone that follows my YouTube channel, that you're not alone. Um, always feel free to reach out to my channel, through my email, through my Instagram, but there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. And if you're struggling in football, um, just know 
that the only path out of that struggle is just to keep working hard. Um, I think that nobody ever wants to stay in struggle, right? Nobody ever wants to stay in a difficult time. And the only out, basically, that I would recommend to you, even though it may be hard during the moment, and I myself am going through this right now, is to be patient. Just trust in yourself, your ability, and everything will will take place. Everything will piece together. And if you just believe in yourself, then I think nothing is impossible.